this is a game that I really started to enjoy definitely at late night time, because why not? And so what I just do here is that we have like, these different types of guns that are just, well, what they are. And you have uh, like this little store here. Now, unfortunately, you have to like watch videos for these. So, like it's very video, it's very ad based. You have to really put in a lot of ad like time, which is unfortunate. However, whenever you get the ball that you desire, which this is just the one that I had already pre-made or pre in there, you can just choose your weapon of your choice, and then as you can see, it's telling you to point. Now that. As you can see, I'm on level 273. That does not go away. You can go to your settings here. You can turn that off. Turn that off for store purchases, which is just mainly for your ads. So, here, let's get started. I'm going to just bonk that one. Woo! Oh, God. Come here. Ah! Boosh! You just go. Ah! Hit him. Boosh! Gone. And then, like, that's the end of the level. Now, I know this sounds like an advertisement, but it's an interesting game. It You get to just enjoy getting the blow-up stuff with this gun and watch them practically just fall around. And you're just jumping. Sometimes they'll have a glitch, and it makes it a lot better, to be quite honest. It hits your camera, and then you completely just, like, start going around in circles and... It doesn't know quite what to do. And again, like, you'll gain coins by 50 the whole way through. So, like, you have to play it a lot to even, like, as you see here, you have those, so many coins. You have to play a lot to get a new one other than the ones that are the videos. And so if you change, also, you have to watch the video to change whatever you got. Because if you don't, well, <laughs> well you're not going to get that new ball, I guess. But, um, the camera kind of directs you where you're going to shoot for the most part. So you kind of just have to make your best shot with whatever it gives you. Because it, it targets you towards the closest, um, enemy. But we're going to go ahead and just complete a few of these levels so you can see. Um, and surprisingly I forgot to, like, mention the first, like, what the name of this game is. And to be quite honest, I don't really know. So, once I get past this level, let's go check that out real quick. Oh, my goodness, my aim's off tonight. Kaboosh. See, like that, it, it didn't mess up the camera this time. They may have fixed it. But, yeah. Okay, so, now that we're done here, we're going to continue. This is called Knock Them All. Which, yeah, you can tell, like, it's a corny game, it's a corny name, but it's still fun. You just bonk, Oop. and you just try to chase after you. Those chains are interactive, as you can see, you just knock that one off. Well, maybe not. It might hit you too, so be careful. And then kaboosh. Very easy levels. This is a very easy game. It's just mainly interactive if you enjoy it. And then there's this element. This element's really interesting. You had to hit them, and they can be very stubborn sometimes. So you have to kind of plan ahead to make sure that they don't get over there. See? And then he's fine. You just bonk. And it's always fun when you hit them right upside the head. And just add new elements if you can. So, like, right over there, you try to hit them before they start moving. Sometimes it works. Sometimes they just aren't activated yet. So you just have to play from there. I know. Sounds like an advertisement. I'm new to this. It's been like three years since I did a gameplay on this channel. So I really did anything on this channel, to be quite honest. We're just going to go boink, and there they go. And then watch. See, it doesn't really affect them. But then, kaboosh, and they're gone. See, it kind of targets you, and it doesn't like that one's closer. That one's coming in. You destroyed it. That one goes down. Kaboosh, boink. Sometimes they just fly down. It's not, like, intense, usually, unless you have to save that person. Because if you don't save the person, well, you fail. It, like I said, it, it doesn't take much to get back to the beginning. 
Okay, for this part, you finally get, like, this is a new feature that they just added. Um, this is where you had to defeat the boss. So, like, the moment you press, it will start shooting these little um, things at you. You have to hit it while it's still close because bumping them in the head, like, watch. Boink doesn't do anything to it. Well, maybe a little bit, but it doesn't do much. Those are what does a lot of damage to them. So, if you want to get a lot of damage, you have to really bonk it close to them. And you kind of just jump around doing rotations, and then the moment you get them, you should be gone, and yeah, done. Probably don't want those barrels to hit you. I've never had one hit me. Again, it's a new feature, so I've only like had three encounters. But um, yeah, that's that's the main gist. I mean, if anyone ever watches this gameplay and um, is interested in seeing more, like we also have these types of guns here, have this one, that one, and of course this one. This is this is the first one you'll start off with, but these ones are alright. This one's obviously a bigger ball, so I enjoy that one a lot more. These ones shoot several, but we'll go and play more if anyone even watches this or is interested. So, um, if you did watch it to this point, thank you, and have a good night or day, whatever.